Do not be afraid of things you hear and be mindful of these pretty things you see. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls, and mothers and fathers and people? I am the professor. Here in this place, we do strange, uncommon things. Julius Sumner Miller is my name, and we do physics. Consider the following interesting exercise. We will imagine the exercise, and you know how great a role imagination plays in our work. Supposing I have a board, and we will imagine it hinged there, and I put a block of wood on the board, and then I lift up the board through a certain angle, and there's the block, and let us say at that angle, the block begins to slide. Slide. And we make note of that angle. Call it theta, the Greek letter, T-H-E-T-A. You could call it A if you want, the angle. Now we start all again. And instead of putting one block on the plane down here, we put two identical blocks, except that I have put some sandpaper on the face of this one so they don't slide with respect to each other, but behave as one block. Now let that first block have a weight W, and the second one has a weight W, and I am putting both blocks together, and they are pinned together, say, by the friction in the sandpaper. Now I begin to raise the plane, and we ask, when do the two blocks behaving as one block of weight 2W, when, do this, when does this begin to slip? Does it slip at a smaller angle? Or does it wait to slip at a bigger angle? There's the smaller angle, and there's the bigger angle. So you see, I am constantly raising questions and dilemmas for your intellectual life to be stirred. Let me help you. Maybe they slip at a smaller angle because two are heavier than one and they want to go down sooner. Well, that's an idea. No, I've changed my mind. I think maybe they slip. Well, that one fell down because of Newton and gravitation. Maybe they slip at a bigger angle because they are heavier and want to stay there longer. Now, both of those arguments sound convinced, absolutely. And I remember when I was a little fellow, first encountering this, I was bewitched with uncertainty because both arguments are very strong. They slip at a smaller angle because they're heavier and want to stay more firmly. No, 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 no. Well, I'm bewitched, which is a proper thing for this place. I'm going to reveal the secret they slip at the same angle. And the slipping is independent of the weight. And I'm going to write the mathematics to show you how beautifully and powerful and convincing it is. Watch me. W sine of theta is equal to mu W cosine of theta. And somebody says, why, Professor, can a five-year-old understand that? And my answer is, he will be led to think about its meaning because it is very beautiful, because it reveals that the weight of the block does not matter, and all blocks of the same roughness slide at the same angle.